What's up? What's up, guys? So definitely not going to be a definitely not the next day of last vlog. So I am going to probably do today, tomorrow, and the next day. So today is Friday. I just got off work. We'll do Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Got a couple of rather big projects going on at the house, and some, you know, some more smoking and some more stuff in the shop, and I don't know what else. But I definitely will get at least a couple of these into a uh, vlog. So. Here's a clip that you should find interesting that my wife sent me while I was eating lunch today at work. So I actually know that this is not a supporting beam because it's not doing any good. It's just... And this is what I walk into when I come home. There used to be a wall here. There used to be a wall here. Yeah. So yeah. My uh, teenager and her went through and ripped out all the wall there. That wall was a closet, the refrigerator zone we moved in. And then we um, closed in this wall here on the back of the house that we still haven't bought siding for because we can't find matching siding that, um, and put our refrigerator over there. So after we did that, we just didn't like it because it didn't have enough space. So now we are opening up that wall to put the refrigerator back in there in the other direction see how we like that. So uh, about, about to go to Home Depot with the wife and start picking up stuff for the project and we'll see what we get into this afternoon. I always get a chuckle out of how much stuff fits in the back of my wife's Suburban. It's just, I don't know what GM was thinking when they built these things, but they were thinking the right thing. By the way, uh, Home Depot's doing a terrible job of handling this. They have nobody working in the lumber department. All the carts are in the parking lot. There's no carts in the store. And there was no cashiers, so that wasn't fun. All right, here we go. Another Home Depot. Saying, let's get busy, Dad. Yeah. All right, so when we moved into the house, this there was a wall here, and the refrigerator faced in this direction, and it was always kind of awkward. So we removed a sliding door here, walled it in, and put the refrigerator over there, and that just hasn't really worked either. This takes up a lot of space so we are actually going to remove this wall now so you can see we've already started and I'm gonna close this all back up and the refrigerator will go here and we'll connect water and power to it and then a uh, four shelf I'm gonna build a shelving unit I guess probably the best way to call it a pantry over here to replace that countertop where the fridge is now all right so we are using a 23 by 32 four by eight sheets of uh, plywood, sanded plywood. Uh, it's almost three quarters of an inch thick for our shelves, it'll be 16 inches wide. It's a really simple shelving unit. It's gonna look just like a shell you'd normally buy somewhere else, it'll just be made of wood and stained. Should be pretty straightforward. I used that earlier, that's like this. Regular saw? Yeah. For what? Oh, one of the reasons wood was too big for me to actually take your break it. All right, so it's day two. I just got home from work. The wife got a bunch of staining done. Look at this color. I absolutely love this stain color. This is gun stock. We've used it for quite a few projects over the years, but um, she got a bunch of staining done this morning before she left to go do wedding planning stuff. And I just got home from work, about to climb up in the attic and put an injunction box. 
and move some wiring around to wire the fridge in the new hole. It's the teenager's in there pulling a couple more studs out before we get in figure out what we got to do with the flooring in there. But uh, I'm going to try and get the refrigerator where it goes today and then worry about the rack and stuff tomorrow after church and I'll do Monday because I'm off Monday so today was my sixth day and yeah. Alright so after pulling up a uh, sheet of plywood that was underneath where this pantry was and it looks like we're not going to have too big of a deal getting this leveled back out I'll just have to fill in this big old gap here. It's a, I don't know three quarters of an inch or so. And then some serious cleanup. Still got to get this stud out and turned around to make that corner. But uh, just about there. All right, well, I got the electrical run, junction box put in the attic box in the wall I got the water line run and tapped in and now I'm making some uh, rice bowls for dinner some uh, chili lime chicken so that might be pretty good some rice and... Ooh, pretty so yeah didn't get a ton done today but we did get that st last stud out of the way I like to bring a sawzall home and uh, chop that guy out of my way there and then, let's see, I got a pretty big gap in my flooring there. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do about that. I need to measure that piece there and see if it's a half inch. And if it is, then I'll just go up to a quarter inch piece there, and that'll pretty well cover my gap. Uh, if not, I don't know. I'll come up with something else, I guess. But, I got electricity in my wall now. I still need to pull down the Swiffer rack. A couple piece of trim there and then I got a patch of crack over there new drywall all around this corner patch up the big hole that was a vent down there when the uh, refrigerator was here and then we'll uh, patch this hole up and I need to cut down that bolt I reckon as well and uh, we'll get all that covered up and that'll be tomorrow afternoon after church My rice bowl came out pretty nice. What's up, guys? It's Sunday. Home from church, had lunch. We actually been over a couple hours. We uh, put in a Home Depot order at 8 o'clock this morning for some materials that we needed to keep moving along today. And uh, well, it still hasn't been picked and it's still not ready. So we're just out here in the shop uh, sanding away, and uh, Amanda's out here staining stuff, and it's hot. But I got my little AC unit going and the fans going and we're just gonna try and stay hydrated and not die until Home Depot gets their act together. It's really bewildering to me because while we were there, all of their employees were only doing online pickups or manning the self-checkouts. So I don't really know what's taking so long. Probably because they don't have any carts left.
And this is what it's like when you sit on the floor to eat your ice cream sundae because everything from the rest of the kitchen is on the table. You get to hang out with these two. Huh. You trying to eat my sundae? Are you trying to eat my sundae? No, nope, that's my sundae. Are you trying to eat mom's sundae? Yeah, brother spoiled. Mm -hmm. Good morning, morning. So it is day 400, 500, or, or maybe just day four of this vlog at this point. Uh, but it's my day off. So we got uh, finishing my coffee. My wife's already out there in the shop sanding and staining the last few pieces for the shelving unit. After I stopped filming yesterday when my phone overheated, I we did end up coming in here and do some more wall patching and patch up this space here, right there. There was a countertop there, so there was no wood. This is all fake wood flooring on that wall for our accent wall. So we got that patched up last night, got the Refrigerator's over here in its hole, but as you can see, there's still no flooring underneath it because we are now going on 24 hours since we put in the order with Home Depot online. <clears throat> it hasn't really stopped us from working, but um, it will today, so I'm going to end up just having to cancel that order and go up there and pick up my own stuff because even though it's the only thing they're doing at Home Depot right now, as far as I can tell while I was there, they can't pull it off. So, um, doing that today... Obviously, another day off work means I'm smoking some more brisket. I think we're doing a chicken my next Monday off, but it might be one of my chickens, actually, if he starts crowing here soon. But I'm doing a brisket today. Doing, I got a, we had a nasty little windstorm come through the other night, so I got half of one of my neighbor's trees laying in my yard. I got to chop up. And then hopefully we'll get this kitchen project finished and we'll be done in here, but I don't have super high hopes on that. But we'll see how the day goes. I don't have a ton left to do. I got flooring. Got to drywall that corner over there, paint. Uh, in a couple hours, all this staining she's doing will be dry, and we can I can start popping pocket holes and everything, and get all that in here and assembled, and that shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, so I got this 12-pounder all dressed up. Looks delicious. But unlike the last one we did, this time I'm using the uh, some honey as my binder as opposed to the mustard. The uh, mustard definitely worked fine. You definitely couldn't taste it, but the seasoning I have this week is, is uh, Kenny's all-purpose honey barbecue. So I figured, well, it just kind of makes sense to use honey instead of mustard. And honestly, the honey went on a little bit easier, I feel, than the mustard did. It, it went further anyway. But um, getting the smoker, she's firing up now. Let's see here. Where are we at? Yeah, we're up to 160, so we're ready to go here. But, so I have these set my knot, knob down here. I have a smoke setting and then my various temperatures that I can run it up to. So last week, or two weeks ago, we ran our brisket at 275 for the duration of the cook time and we didn't get a ton of bark. So smoke setting's purpose is it's supposed to produce more smoke here than it does at any other setting. Um, so I'm going to run it at smoke until I get my internal temp up to 120 or so, I'm thinking. And then I'll crank it up to get it up the rest of the way before I wrap it and send it home. All right, so to mount these, I'm using pocket screws. So hopefully once I get this whole thing together, you won't actually see any of the hardware whatsoever. And uh, the only downside to that is I've got to drill four holes in all of these, so 48 holes, something like that. But hopefully it'll come out looking nice with no exposed to fasteners.
layer here, but we're looking solid. We are um, to 95 degree internal temp. Still on the smoke setting, and we're up to 215 right now, so which I'm fine with. But it is definitely smoking a lot more than it normally does. Generally, I can just barely tell that there's any real smoke coming out of here at all. But today, today you can tell. I like it. So we'll see if I can get a pretty decent smoke ring on this guy. We uh, just got back from two Home Depots because they had messed up our order. But I had to go get some Craig screws and all oh, my chickens think it's too hot outside as well. Some screws for my Craig stuff and uh, Sawzall to cut a hole in my ceiling. Alright, so with the Sawzall, got the weird, the end of that 2x4 off. You know, it was odd, there was another 2x4 just laying on top of it to space it. From the studs it seemed I don't know I'm sure there was a better way of doing that like I don't know maybe with that piece of three-quarter right there that could have just run all the way over but who knows so I'll have to cut another piece to fill in this gap and then a little piece of blocking to go back here because I don't know I guess they decided that that just wasn't necessary so I'll tuck a little piece in there and get that screwed in so I have somewhere to land the end of my drywall as well but uh, now that showed up, I can get this corner all finished up. And then we can relay the floor properly with a sheet of masonite that I got. And fill that in. And we'll be in the home stretch. Alright, so we got the ladders built. The shelves are stained in the house. The corner is drywalled and drying. We'll need sand texture mud still, and um, finish that up there still. But we are seven nineteenths of the way done, so we're almost there. All right, so quick update: lost two hours to running up to the church to handle something up there. We made our Costco trip. And the uh, brisket definitely—I definitely got more of a smoke ring on this brisket than I did the last one I did, but this one's not as juicy. It came out a bit drier when in smoke setting. So definitely moving forward, I'll definitely just set my temperature and, you know, do it the way I did the first one. So, but this came out really well. The wife's already started loading it back up. It's worked out well that our outlets are still available. So all our small kitchen appliances can go over there. And she's just jars and trays and, you know, all that stuff. Corner is going to need to be sanded, painted. Didn't get a chance to do the floor today. Still might get to it tonight. We'll see. All right, so I'm home from practice. It's kind of late, but my wife got the corner all finished up except for the baseboard and the top trim. But it's textured and painted. Got to figure out what we're going to do with this floor tonight because well, I know what I'm going to do, but I got to get down there and do it. And then she got the pantry all stocked up and loaded up with all her jars and labels and all of our kitchen appliances and a bread box that I made. So we have a table again. I ate my dinner there this evening and looks like our coffee bar is about ready to go in place as well. So I guess I need to get this flooring done so we can get it where it goes. All right, sheet of masonite filled in the gap quite nicely. So now we'll just stick our old peel and stick tile on here and that should be that for getting a floor underneath it. And I'll just have to patch up that hole. We'll have to finish painting this corner and some trim work. All right, just like that. Tiled under there. I guess you can't tell once the refrigerator's in place, but it's tiled. Coffee bar's back in place. That light's super bright. But we are done with the project. Or this one, anyway. Except for finishing that. I want to get some more stuff to finish it. Other than that, we are all done. Puppies are getting fed and we're going to bed. Y'all have a great evening.